All right, here we go. Game number two, or game number seven, however you want to look at it. This is Joe Black, I'm spawning as the blue Protoss, and my teammate Sarah, spawning as red Terran. Uh, our opponents will be Rev, spawning as Protoss, and Jack to kill, spawning as Terran. So, yeah, once again, Terran Protoss versus Terran Protoss. Uh, Seroth has not gone back to Protoss after that last embarrassment of a of a match that we played in that five placement matches. Um, just telling him that he's got to try and mass up his units faster because he kind of leaves himself open and myself as well to just get rushed and raped when uh, he doesn't make any units until he has like three barracks going. Uh, seemingly pretty early scout by Rav. Does uh, he even have his supply depot isn't even done yet? I guess it, let's see, you can even see. Ah, shit. Has it rewind? Speed up. See if you can even see. No, you can't even see my pylon, so he doesn't even know what race I've spawned as since I'm playing as random. Let's check out the production tab. Uh, I'm getting the gateway, Seroth getting his barracks, Rav a little behind, uh, Jack to kill, still has not made any, uh, a barracks yet. Um, I don't know if Seroth was telling me to scout or telling me that he saw a scout, but either way. So yeah, I mean, Jack to kill's got two SCVs just chilling here. He's Probably spending all of his time focusing on micro and this this guy right here. Uh, simulator going down for myself. My gateway is finished. I should be throwing down. There you go. Cybernetics core. My, wow, I've not been chrono boosting any of my probes. Come on, chrono boost. Got the supply. Let's go. Almost up to a hundred energy. I guess Sarah's it's Sarah's not doing anything. Finally throwing down his command center. He's got enough for another barracks. Or to make some marines. There you go, finally making some marines. Throwing down another gateway for myself. Cyber next core is down. Come on. Give me some warp gate. Chrono boost that shit. And I have no idea what I did there. I think I just completely misclicked all of my probes, telling them all to mine from one individual thing, which will probably distract me from. Uh, there we go. Finally selected Chrono Boost. There we go. And hopefully now that I've remembered my Chrono Boost, I'll start pumping out some. There we go. Finally doing that. We got two gateways going down for Rev. He's working on his warp gate also. Working on three barracks and Jack to kill. He's got two barracks working on his third. No upgrades. Going for a reactor here. I uh, do not remember anything about this matchup. I uh, probably should have watched it before I started uh, doing this cast. I watched through it once before. So two more barracks. We've got a four racks build from Seroth, and it's not even very rushy. Uh, and this would be too long of a distance to actually try and do a rush. Maybe if he had built his three barracks right here. Then like in our placement matches when I got Zealot rushed. Probably could have done the same thing against these guys. But uh, this is Bronze League. So I'm working on four gates here. Spent my chrono boosting well on my between probes and uh, my warp gate tech. So we should get this sentry pretty close to perfect. And then doing some warp gate. We should get this fourth one, fourth one immediately. There we go. And then once those are done, should start pumping out the units. We got Rev going with a Twilight Council on top here. We got Twilight Council gateway and a forge. And I'm working on my robo facility for my scouts. Warping in some stalkers. Probably just trying to spend all my gas. Might just get one more. 
Oh, could get two more units. Should get two more sentries while my other warp gates are cooling down. Let's check the units tab at this point in time. So Rav is actually ahead on probes, as he should be, because I was kind of fail at chrono boosting out my probes. We got two pylons watching the back door. Uh, I am getting my expansion though, pretty much before everybody else. Sending my units up here. I had a pylon in the works. For some reason, I decided to hide it a little bit on the bottom here, which ends up being a horrible idea. And now I remember that, at least. So we're rallied up here, trying to play a little bit differently and try and, you know, have some sort of early attack as opposed to sitting around until Sarath had 70 marines until we actually pushed out. What does he have right now? Two reactors, still no, he's building a command center, still no upgrades. I'm gonna have to get on, get on his case about that. Should send my zealous up here to try and take some hits. There we go, guardian shielding. Not microing my stalkers at all. I believe the force fields were from uh, Rav stalkers. Although, actually, no, they're probably from mine, seeing as how they're placed right there. This is not the greatest engagement. Send my probe up there by accident. Now that I lost them, I should be. See, so like, I wanted to warp in units here, but I forgot, like a noob, that I needed to actually be able to see the high ground. So instead of just leaving my probe down here to be able to warp units up top, and I don't know, it was just horrible placement. So Jack to kill and rev, hold off that. Jack to kills supply depot burns to the ground as he doesn't repair it. There we go, setting up another probe. What do we have on production? I got weapons level or weapons level one upgrade, almost done. Probably been chrono boosting that out. Chrono boosting out some probes here, doing a decent sized transfer. There we go. That's a lot better than the last matchup. I think I transferred like half my probes. Uh, I probably watched like a size Starcraft calf, uh, cast before I played this game and actually listened to him talk about an even split of your drones so I just applied that to the Protoss that I was playing as so there we go, Sarah finally getting some combat shields, weapons level 1 upgrade uh, let's check out Rev, Rev has le weapons level 1 so we've got Jack to kill with pretty much no upgrades, and he's got combat shield and Marauder Slow. He does not have stem or any weapons or armor. Uh, Twilight Council going down for myself. A little late compared to uh, Ravs. You know, he's got Zealot legs which should be charging in here. But uh, my sentry is wheeling down the Zealots. They shop away at my stalkers. Guardian shield reducing a lot of the incoming damage, and now that I've got some units up here, I can finally warp in from up top. Uh, let's check out my money. My money is kind of decent. Seraph so rallying tons of uh, marines and marauders up top here. Here we go, finally sending my zealots in first. I don't know if my zealots have uh, legs or not. Nope, they don't. So he's sending my zealots in first to take the brunt of the hits. Should be putting up a guardian shield to limit the amount of damage Sarah's Marines and Marauders are taking. But let's see if I actually do that. Nope, I'm just gonna play horribly and send my sentry. I actually may have given Sarath control. And not warping in any units here. There we go. Warping in some zealots. I think at this point I realized how uh, marine and marauder heavy Jack to Kill's army was, so I just started to go with zealots. <coughs> uh, 
Excuse me. Send some zealots in. There we go. I was telling them to build a nuke so we can try to just. I mean, they're just clumping up all their units and all their structures and everything right up at the front. So if you can just build one ghost and just hit this, we can just wipe out all of their forces and just rush in right after the nuke lands and just take everything down. There we go. So now that my. I've destroyed this their wall, sent my zealots in, taking down their pylon so their cannon has no power. And instead of. Well, I guess that's decent for Seroth right now, but I mean, if he just goes for one, I mean, look at this, go for that pylon, bam, everything's done. But he just stands up front and goes for the actual buildings. Sorry, I'm trying to push with my zealots in the back, take out whatever units I can in the back that aren't anywhere near uh, Jack to Kill's producing structures. I'm trying to take down all these pylons that uh, Rev is trying to build so he can actually start producing out of his buildings again. Set off micro his units up here. I think I... Th if I remember correctly, I think I even bring a probe of my own up here and like put a pylon somewhere on their base. I'm not sure. Uh, Rev warping in a uh, Dark Templar at the last minute before that. There's Rev right there. And I don't think. Did I ever even check out the unit tab? Yeah, I didn't make a Marine just chilling there. As my stalker is just getting hacked to pieces. I don't know if I ever even noticed this one Dark Templar just owning all of my guys, but here we go. Fort Prison, that's what it was. It wasn't a, it wasn't a pylon. But his Dark Templar is just annihilating my guys. I finally realized what's going on. Try to micro around a little bit to just not take as much damage. might be the game where it looks like we could just you know keep playing they held us off or hanging out in the center of the map and then I believe all of a sudden they both just leave at the same exact time if this is the right game but yeah so we got two more gateways going down got one pylon two three trying to power all of this I've got my warp prism hanging out here so I can go back up and try and warp in some units Still at four gates. Yeah, so Jack the Kill just randomly quits. And so does uh, Rav. And uh, yeah, that was the end of our second game. As awkward as it was of an ending, the, both those guys just decided to just up and quit, even though they were holding us off. And the game was far from over, but there's game two.